get them up for school. and I don't understand why. <laughs> she's got a very nice bed and a brand new mattress, but she sleeps on the floor. I don't get it. Come on, big girl. And you're such a camera hog. Look at you. I turn on the camera and you get all excited. So guys, I had to pick Sarah up from school early. Um, she did have a seizure today. And so the paramedics were there and we got there. I went ahead and went in and checked on her. Um, I had them put her in the back of the paramedics and I um, I went ahead and had them stabilize her. Once she was stable and she was awake, I let them know, you know, the hospital isn't going to do anything. And so, unless she's actually not breathing or the seizure isn't stopping, those kinds of things, then she would have to go. But, um, what, sir? Oh, but um, seeing as we were able to get the seat, she came out of the seizure, she was talking again, she was sitting, you know, wanting to communicate, you know, I know. And so she was doing really good, so I just told myself, I don't want her transport to the hospital. It's gonna just, it would be hours of time sitting over there, and them, they're not gonna do anything other than tell you she had a seizure and send you home. Which is just, it's stupid to go to the hospital every time a seizure patient has a seizure, unless there is an absolute medical reason to go, such as they're not breathing, or the seizure isn't stopping, those kinds of reasons, but epileptics are gonna have seizures, and especially until they are under control. And so that's kind of what our day's been about. I picked her up at about 12 o'clock and she's been home since. So she's a bit irritated and she's bummed out a bit because I think we are going to probably, seeing as school is pretty much almost out, there's, um, there's just a couple more weeks of school left. She's already done all her um, school testing for the year. And so I think we're at a point where, because these right now just aren't, they're so unpredictable and we just don't have a real handle on them yet, I think it'd be best for her if we go ahead and just keep her home. Um, so I'm gonna talk with the school about it on Monday and we'll see what um, they want to do because uh, when stuff like that happens, especially during class, like this did, um, it stops the progression of the class. And everybody has to be removed from the class until they can get somebody in there to get her and that stuff. So, yeah, she's not happy about it because she wants to be at school. And I want her to be at school. Uh, yeah, I know you do too. I hear you. So, she's a little bit bummed out right now. But her friend's gonna come over, hopefully. Did you get a, did you get a hold of her yet? Not yet? Okay. This one just keeps sitting right up next to me, being goofy. Yeah, I know. Don't huff and puff at me, mister. No huffing and puffing at me, mister. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hear ya. Hey guys, um, I'm trying to talk a little louder because of the wind, so if I sound like I'm yelling, sorry, I got it. If I sound like I'm yelling on the camera, uh, sorry about that. It's just the wind. So, I don't know if you can hear me or not. So, I'm gonna act like I'm not yelling, but yet yelling at the same time. Okay, so, um, today, at school, I didn't vlog anything at school because, um, if I do, I might get the snake in the way, and I might get in trouble. So. But, um, yeah. Uh, today, this, uh, at lunch, um, we are having a competition for who can catch the most and um the people that threw the the tennis ball to us um for like every miss or every catch we make um like 
my friend Dalton, he bet on me to catch the most. And uh, my friend Jason bet on Gene if he can catch the most. So I actually won the challenge. Sorry, we got motorcycles going past us. Anyways, I will actually talk to you guys in the off the road. Bye. Um, but I won the challenge. I caught almost every single one. And the twist was, if you caught the ball one-handed, it adds double points, like times two. So like for every catch I made with two hands, it'd be five push-ups. But if I caught it two, if I caught it um, two times, I mean, if I caught it once, like with a one-hander, um, the points would multiply by two. So, Every one-hander I made, um, it would add 25 to his push-ups. So, ev uh, I caught every time I caught the ball, Jason had push-ups. And every time Gene caught the ball, Dalton had push-ups. So, yeah. And, yeah, that was it. That was pretty good. Um, so, that was my day. Pre very protective. And I want to ask you... Um, how was your day? Like, just tell me, like, tell us in the comments. How's your day been? Like, yesterday, because this is the video that's going to be going up tomorrow. So I wanted to ask how your day was today. So, yeah. So anyway, Sarah and I are going to go in and get stuff for dinner. We're going to do tacos tonight. But it just started ready. raining, and we're just like, uh-huh. So, Do you see the bike can't have the camera out when we walk through here. Yeah, I know there's all these bikes. See all the bikes, guys? We've got bikers coming in from everywhere. They're just driving down the road over there, too. So, all right, guys, we're going in the store. i got to put the camera away because it's going to get wet. Okay, everything we need for Friday night movie night right here. We've got popcorn. We've got ground turkey with the salsa, the sour cream, the shredded lettuce, the shredded cheese. The shells, bam. And then Sarah actually asked if we could get some Kool-Aid because I have not given the kids Kool-Aid in a very long time. And so I got, because I don't eat popcorn, so I grabbed myself jalapeno pepper jack um, chips. And of course my monster energy drink, I need to, I need my, I need the caffeine. I didn't drink any coffee earlier and I know I should have. All right, guys, check them out. Here are the tacos. They're, of course, open. They're soft tacos. Mom, so sorry. these will get folded over. Sarah is starving Mom, over there. I could, I could, I'm so hungry I could eat a horse's ass. Mm-hmm. That's my, my aunt's saying. Mom. But actually, she just says it with the ASS word. Mom. I want to eat this. That little girl? Yeah. I would be famous. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Anyway, guys, it has been a bit of a chaotic day for us. I had, I was in here, I did my workout, was in the middle of actually doing a bunch of uh, <coughs> abdominal work when I got the call, <laughs> when I got the call that I needed to pick this one up from school. Why? <laughs> she burped and then I burped. Can you come so. on here with me? No, he's not allowed on the couch. Look at my poor couch, guys. No, Look at this. My poor couch. He didn't know which one. Didn't I'm at a point where I'm not really sure yet if I'm just going to get rid of the couches and get new couches or if I'm going to... No leather couches. No, I'm not getting leather. Leather's a really good idea, only for the f fact that it doesn't get, it won't get dirty like this, but it just gets too hot out here. Oh, wait a minute. I want to do what we did the other day. Hold on, sir. Sit in your area where you were sitting last time. Hey, watch. Tonks. Tonks. You ready? Huh? Tonks, go keep her safe. Keep her safe. Keep Sarah safe. Good boy. You're a good boy. He's learned this was a new one. We've been teaching him this because he's been extremely alert just before she's been having her seizures. And I, I have a feeling he's really able to tell like she that her hormones are changing. So now if, I, if he's over with me, yeah, if I tell him to keep her safe, he stays with her. Or if he's standing with me and I say, go keep her safe, he'll go and actually like block her from anybody, which is really cute. I know. You keep her safe. Go ahead. Keep Sarah safe. You tell her. You tell her, stay still. Get her. Tell her to stay safe. <laughs> oh, there she goes. 
She's leaving. <laughs> so he gets right in front of her and he uses oh, okay. he well, uses his body to block like her. Back when you were in school in high school. Mom, he's sitting her. on me. That a girl would just Mom, he's actually sitting on me. Her. No, Taylor, this is TV. He's so, sitting on me. I see that. He's keeping you oh, safe. Look at that face. I know that face is priceless. You're a good boy. Yes, you are. Can I hug? Can I hug? Hug up here. Oh, good boy, boys. He really is a very smart dog. He's, and he's easy, like he's learning tricks. Even though he's three years old, almost four years old. What? Oh, thank you. Oh, good boy. You're such a good boy. Oh. Oh. <laughs> he's like, oh. sister, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> what? Is what? she making you crazy? Okay, now. All right, go ahead. You take your food. But yeah, guys. So we are right here. So we are gonna go ahead and eat dinner because we're starving, like starving. That is true. So I gotta get a good, a good shot of this because that'll be the thumbnail. Look at Mama Bubba. Yeah, I only see one of your ears, which is really funny. <laughs> His other ears like hidden in your hair. <laughs> you guys are so cute. You're such a good boy, Tonkies. Yeah, so that's your sissy, huh? He loves you, Sarah. Yeah. So, all right, guys, if you like this video today, and I know it's been kind of crazy, and we didn't really, oh, excuse me, we really didn't vlog a lot. I know. But uh, yeah, and, you know, come back, see us again tomorrow. We vlog it every day, whether things are good, bad, or even sometimes boring. And hey guys, we just want to say again, of course, thank you for watching. We'll talk to you all later. Bye. Good morning, Jamly. It's really beautiful out today, except that we got a lot, a lot of clouds. Like, a lot. So, I'm definitely surprised, but <clears throat> hi, Bubba.